Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss which quadrilaterals can be parallelograms. Here we have six different classes of quadrilaterals. We have squares, defini definition of which is all four sides are of the same length, and all interior angles are 90 degrees. We have rectangles, in which opposite sides are of the same length, and all interior angles are 90 degrees. We have the rhombus, whose definition is all four sides are the same length. We have the kite, in which adjacent pairs of sides are of the same length. We have the trapezoid, which has some different definitions, but the one that we will use is that it has at least one pair of parallel sides. And finally, the chevron, similar to the kite, in that adjacent sides are of the same length, but there is at least one interior angle that is more than 180 degrees. Okay, so let's start talking about which, which of these types of quadrilaterals can be parallelograms. There will be three different answers. We can say that all of them will be parallelograms, some will be parallelograms, and none. We'll start with the square. Well, since all of the interior angles are 90 degrees, it immediately follows that opposite sides will be parallel, no matter what. So, we can safely say that all squares are parallelograms. And the same is true of rectangles. Once again, interior angles are 90 degrees, so opposite sides are parallel. Alright. Now the rhombus is also of the class that every single one is a parallelogram. A direct consequence of the fact that opposite sides are of the same length is that interior angles on a given side will add up to 180 degrees. And as such, opposite sides will be parallel. So all rhombi are parallelograms. Now for the kite. The kite is somewhat of an unusual shape, but there is one special case of the kite that can make it a parallelogram. So by definition, these two sides will be of the same length, and these two sides will be of the same length. But if all four are the same length, it is still a kite, but that also makes it a rhombus, which as we know is a parallelogram. So it is possible for a kite to be a parallelogram, but not guaranteed. So we'll put that under sum. Now for the trapezoid. The definition of trapezoid that we're using is that there is at least one pair of parallel sides. But that does not prevent the other pair of sides to be parallel. So we can even change this drawing a little bit to make it look more like what we consider to be a parallelogram. This may not look like your typical trapezoid, but under our definition, it is. It has at least one pair of parallel sides. If it is also true that these sides are parallel, then it's a parallelogram by definition. So some trapezoids are parallelograms. Finally, for the chevron. Similar to the kite, adjacent pairs of sides are of the same length. But because of this reflex angle in here, an interior angle which is greater than 180 degrees, it is not possible for any of the sides to be parallel. So there we have it. Squares, rectangles, and rhombi are all, always parallelograms. Kites and trapezoids can sometimes be parallelograms. And chevrons are never parallelograms. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed which quadrilaterals can be parallelograms.